All right, what's going on, people? This is your boy Theo. This is a real talk, and um, I've just finished off watching the Prime Minister's address to the nation. There is a lockdown. There's a three-week lockdown, and um, it was very frank. It was very draconian. It was. Um, it was. It, it needed to be done. Uh, to be honest, over the last few days, I saw people getting out there to, um, to you know, do what they, they what they wanted to do instead of adhering to the the, the rules, um, and it just almost felt like he didn't want to do it, but he he, he had to do it. He had to enforce the law. So, um, social events, including weddings and baptisms and so on and so forth, is, should be excluded, but except funerals. Um, he also said that um, uh, parks will be open, but there's only one form of exercise a day. Um, only people should only go out to buy uh, food and um, the, necessary the, necessity the necessities like um, medicine as well um, um only people who is supposed to go to work you're supposed to go to and from work you can't go and see your friends you can't go and see your family this is just turning into a big nightmare this feels like a nightmare and in a way the public only have them blame, uh, themselves to blame from what I've seen from the past few days, especially with this morning. It just felt like no one, no one's listening. No one cares. So it's almost like thinking to yourself, like, what do you want to do? What, what should have been done? But this should have been done ages ago. All right. This should have been in place ages ago. Like Boris Johnson just felt like it was just making up as it goes along and i just feel like now now that this lockdown is now in place you know and there's a uh, there's a fine um enforced should people not listen we'll see this is for your own good people if you can't hear you'll feel that's a jamaican saying and I feel like now's the time now that we need to kind of get together now and we need to um, be honest with ourselves here and how we're going to beat this. This is turned into a big nightmare. If you had told me that this was going down about, about six months ago, I would have last. But this pandemic has taken so much of our lives... I've already posted a video to like just to just pour in my heart out, just having to talk about my own feelings, my own life before what it put, what I hope it will be after. I don't know, but um, but now just dealing with this problem, I only can focus on the task at hand, and that's doing me as an NHS worker I'm doing my job to actually help as much people as I can possibly can. Along, alongside with my colleagues. This has just got real now. This is a lockdown. And yes, they will review it in the next few few weeks to see um, if, if um, it will stop spread. But I don't know. It's just tough right now. Um, there's over 5,000 cases. There's over 300 people that's actually passed away. Um, and everything is closed. Our livelihoods are now gone. Everything that we hold dear is gone. And it's making me miserable. But all I want to do now is try and be as upbeat as I can. And to work as hard as I can. And just see what happens. That's all I can do. So, um... Drop a like if you like this video. I welcome your comments. Um, leave your comments in the section below. And hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. I am going to keep going. Um, 
I am going to keep going. I'm going to keep posting as much as I know about the coronavirus. And I'll try and break it down for you. Um, but until then, I hope you guys, I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys now will take heed of what the Prime Minister is saying, whether or not you like him or not. Um, it's so important now, more so than ever, because this is the time where I just feel like this is one of those moments where you're going to tell your kids, you're going to tell your grandkids about. Like I said, this is going to change everybody forever. Including myself. So yeah. Let's um let's see what uh, let's let's try and beat this thing now. Um hopefully we come back to some normality. God knows when that's gonna be. But we'll see. In a bit, people. I'm out.